LSU, though, will not have Will Wade for another year. feel pretty certain about that. Agreed. I am. I'm a little concerned that this program has been so much fun to follow this year. We're all waiting for the shoe to drop that as soon as the season's over, whether it's Saturday after Maryland or next week in a, a Sweet 16 matchup, perhaps with uh, Michigan State, mm-hmm. or maybe it comes against Duke in the regional finals, or maybe it's in the Final Four or the national championship, or after they cut down the nets, but it's going to drop. And then it's going to be a, oh, well, back to being irrelevant, unless they get the right guy. Yeah. I, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like you, though. I'm having trouble finding that name of – Who excites you? You know? How about this? I'm kind of half joking. Kim Mulkey. She certainly knows Baton Rouge well. Kramer, great coach. Break the mold. Break through that glass ceiling. Are we looking for uh, a great male coach, Adam, or a great coach? Let's, we can we can be realistic. Why or, or does it can... have, Are you saying that you have to be a man to be a good basketball coach? No, I'm just uh, based in reality that they're not going to hire a woman to coach the men's basketball team at LSU. By the way, Kim Mulkey has responded to my request to have her as the LSU men's coach. Oh. LJ just says, let her know that, hey, uh, local station in Shreveport just suggested that you be named. She goes, I like that. You call in and tell them to do it. Just hired a female in the NFL. Popovich with the Spurs as a female on staff. Pat Summit could have coached men, and I could coach them. So, you heard it here first. We've got the ball rolling. Kim Mulkey, next LSU Tigers basketball coach. Kim Mulkey says she wants the job. How does Baylor feel about this? Did they want you to read that on the air? <laughs> well, he said call in. So, who's going to call in and tell us? Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, by the way, more from Kim Mulkey. Mm-hmm. Text in the Lucky Jack, and I do have permission to read these, by the way, Adam. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Mr. Try to get me in trouble. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I'm just, you know, maybe the Baylor higher-ups are not real thrilled about hearing this. You know, Lucky Jack said a local radio station in Shreveport suggested you be named as the next LSU men's coach. And Kim replied, I like that. You call in and tell them to do it. Just hired female in NFL. Popovich with the Spurs has a female on staff. Pat Summit could have coached men, and I could coach them. And after Billy's call... Lucky Jack says, got a call saying that you'd be the best choice for the program. No more old, tired, retread men's coaches. Kim replies, that's a breath of fresh air. I know the state. No X's and O's. Intense, passionate. What's the negative about doing it? Uh, Oh, wait. Yeah. What station is doing this? Send me the audio when the show's over. Well, she's in. She's all in. Yeah. The Tim Fletcher Show, Rogers Hampton, Adam Hester, and Tim Fletcher have made Kim Mulkey a candidate for the LSU men's coaching job. One of these days, somebody is going to pull the trigger on something like that. So LSU could get ahead of the, uh, of the game a little bit. We may have just created the a monster, (laughs) (laughs) the greatest thing that ever happened to LSU basketball.